Welcome back guys, Mr. Lundy again. Uh, this is the second uh, part of um, the video uh, introduction to sedimentary rocks. Um, my first one, I was out uh, near a cliff and we talked about how sedimentary rocks form. Um, this one um, is going to just point out a couple different types and let you take a look at them um, and point out some features that will enable you to um, categorize them, okay, based on their texture and composition. All right, so for the first one, um, this guy over here, um, notice uh, you can see layering. That's called stratification or being stratified into layers like the Grand Canyon, right? And the law of superposition states that the oldest layers are always on the bottom. Now this one we took out of place, so we don't know what the bottom, we don't know what the top, we don't know. But anyway, um, this when I look at it, uh, it feels like coarse sandpaper. And it looks like sand. So if it looks like sand and it feels like sandpaper, you guessed it, it's probably what? Yeah, sandstone, right? And the particle diameter matches what it says it's supposed to be on page 7 of your reference table. So, sandstone. It looks like sand. It feels coarse or fine. Like a nail, like, a, you know, if you're a girl and you do your nails, you know what those emery boards feel like. That's, that's what sandpaper feels like, or sandstone feels like. And there's fine-grained or medium-grained or coarse-grained, just like sandpaper. Okay, so this is a clastic rocks. Little pieces cemented together like kids in a class stuck together. Clastic. Okay? All right. Um, another clastic rock. Now, I see a bunch of ants over here because some ants must have been living. Some, like, reddish-orange ants must have been living in this, near this rock here. Um, yep, all along the bottom. There they are. Oops. Anyway, when I look at this, I see big big pebbles, rounded pebbles, um, cemented together, and there's some sandstone in here too. But so we've got all different size, uh, rounded fragments of other rocks cemented together, cement, compacted and cemented together. So this again, clastic sedimentary rock. Okay, so those are your two examples of clastic. Uh, sandstone, oh, by the way, this is called conglomerate. Okay, next, uh, let's talk about crystalline or chemical sedimentary rocks. You can see here, um, this is from the Herkimer Diamond Mine area. Uh, I see some white crystals. They happen to be calcite. Um, and I see some really fine uh, quartz crystals in here. But I see shiny crystals. I don't see, I don't see uh, any fossils. I don't see big pieces, like rounded pieces, cemented together. I see, I see what looks like crystals that just grew um, on this rock. And this, this is where water um, had dissolved minerals in it that precipitated out and left these crystals behind, similar to like how rock salt halite forms. So crystalline uh, sedimentary rocks or chemical sedimentary rocks when minerals come out of solution. Okay, there's another one. I've got ants all over the place. Um, sparkly little crystals. Okay, um, now next. Oh, by the way, the rock, this was a type of doll, uh, doll stone. Uh, very close to limestone, but uh, it has more magnesium in its chemical composition. It's formed near a, um, like a tidal flat environment along the shores of uh, ocean basins. Okay, uh, next. Um, here is a piece of limestone, and I know it's limestone because I put some vinegar on it and it bubbled up, because limestone contains a lot of calcite. Now, this is a piece of limestone, but if you look close, you see it's got uh, fossils all over the place, different kinds of uh, evidence of different kinds of life forms that lived at the bottom of a seabed. Um, so this um, would be a piece of bioclastic, um, bioclastic um, limestone. So you can have chemical limestone 
or you could have bioclastic limestone if there was a lot of life living in that area at the time, that their, their shells got incorporated into the rock itself. Okay, so there you go. Those are your three types. Um, now there's many others. If this piece of conglomerate, if these were angular instead of rounded, we would call it breccia. Um, if this was halite instead of calcite, uh, it could be gypsum, it could be um, lots of different kinds of chemical um, um, evaporite minerals. And you know, this doesn't have to be limestone, it could, be, it could have been coal, uh, plants compacted and cemented together. I showed you a piece of coal in my video uh, lecture this morning. Okay, anyway, um, hope that helped, guys. Um, I'm just chilling out, hanging out, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.